All right, we'll move on to some more relevant footy. Yeah. Bush, I'm going to put you on the spot with this, kind of, because we've already had a little debate about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So, since the last potty, the it seems like nothing's like concrete yet, but it seems like the AFL finals will yeah. probably be located in Queensland entirely. Yep. This is what we're thinking. I, I heard, are yeah. they moving like commissioners over there? Some, some Sounds some like, yeah, exec, all the executives are going to be in Queensland, right. yeah. yeah okay. All club executives or something are in Queensland or something. Yeah. I guess, first of all, what do you think about that? They're doing what... You can't control the circumstances yeah. this year. Like, you've got to do what you've got to do. Like, everyone knew it was going to be a different year the second all this stuff happened. you just mm-hmm. got to roll with the punches, I feel. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Like, because because obviously we live in WA, and the WA we're kind of like lobbying for the grand final. I yeah. don't think it's going to happen personally. It makes sense to have the finals in Queensland because you're going to have issues about isolating. Yeah. You know, per a port. You'd have to if you're going to have it here. You'd have to bring everyone here and keep them here. Like the way yeah the way yeah. McGowan and the WA government have run mm. our situation here. They'd have to come and stay if finals were going to be here. Yeah, uh, which I. I couldn't say I'm yeah, doing Yeah, it just doesn't make sense to do that when you've already yeah. got teams settled over there. Exactly, like, and yeah. there's more resorts and stuff in Queensland, probably. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, so, yeah, we're on board with that. So, this is this was my position the other day yep. and had a little debate. We don't have to ra- drag it out through the mud. Completely. I'll say, if we drag it out again, we'll be here for fucking two nah, hours. Nah, we'll just, I just want yeah. to clarify. Well, TLDR, is that too long, didn't read sort of thing? Is that how we're going to... Yes. Yeah. So, essentially, I... Um, Submitted. <laughs> it's a very legal term. <laughs> on turn it's at eleven fifty nine pm yeah, yeah. on, de- on the deadline. Yes, the yes. Uh, prosecution submits. No, the basically my submits. my stance was that we fuck had, Brisbane. Everyone else is a legitimate premier. Yeah. We've had <laughs> um, the discussion about like whether or not AFL twenty twenty season is going to be an asterisk because of the inequities with it. Okay, yeah. up until this point, I've been pretty much on board the no, um, this is not an asterisk. However, there is a specific circumstance that I can see unfolding where for me, yeah. there would be an asterisk. And what that is, is let's say we have the entire final series in Queensland. If Brisbane is allowed to have home finals at the Gabba and no one else can have home finals at their choice of ground, then if Brisbane win the flag from that scenario, that for me is an asterisk. From a like this is this is probably where the like I can see from a personal perspective, like in your own rationalization of the world, that's hundred percent fair enough. It'll probably in your be your own warp drug out of the fantasy. Like, like, like what I'm saying is it'll be probably be the same in my perception of it. Like I I won't go if Brisbane win I like won't go to the greatest premiers ever or whatever. But I think where we sort of had the hang up was like I still think like they should be just hundred like if you're gonna asterisk it, you should have asterisked it the second corona happened, like you can't asterisk it now that we've done what we've had to do to keep football going and they've just happened to... You can't shit on them for just being in the lucky spot at the right time. You can't diminish their no. hypothetical achievement just because AFL circumstances are fucked and we've had to go to their home state. Well, this advantage is still preventable. So if it's still preventable, then... It is, it is, but in, like, at this point, they're going to be in Queensland. So even if they played games at Metricon rather than... Yeah, it's still... Well, I totally... That's what I think they should do. Well, like, that's more fair, but it's still not going to be fair. Like, nothing's going to be... F- I think that's fairly fair. Fairly fair. <laughs> no, so let, let's say Brisbane finished second, Port finished first, as is currently. Yeah. But why would Brisbane... Should, why should Brisbane be able to host Geelong, who finished third... At the Gabba at their home ground, but Port have to play at a neutral venue against West Coast because we've been hit by a pandemic, which means but normal like, circumstances can't apply. Like realistically, of you can. You yeah, can asterisk just... the second, the seventeen round season, the second it's crying, you just go. No, 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 not at all. Because we have a prev- like a situation here where you can prevent one team having it like an absurd advantage. You can't prevent it though. They're in Queensland. They're still going to be in you, their home you, fucking state. They've been there all year. You can't change the what's simple way to happen. prevent it is to have them host games at Metricon. And then it's still a fucking advantage from those two. It's, too, it's no, an it's hour not. down the road from their regular fucking headquarters compared to everyone who's living in a fucking hotel. It's still an advantage to them. Like no. you can't fucking just go. Yeah, no, like, there's a there's huge disadvantage. Well, no, what an hour drive from their fucking normal well, place compared to like the, the advantage with playing home and away isn't necessarily just how far you travel to get there. Yeah, there's the it's ground. About, there's mostly ground dimensions and you know crowd advantage as well. There's a big difference when you're fucking flying across the Nullarbor and that sort of so shit. So you're like saying compared- if Fremantle played a home final at the Wacker, they would have the same advantage they would if they played at Optus Stadium. 
not the same advantage, but they'd still have the advantage of a team having to come to Perth, having to go for all that bullshit. I would argue that's a neutral game. Nah. 100%. Nah. They've come to Perth. It's in Perth. Like, for, if, it was, if it was Eagles versus Dockers, maybe it'd be... But even then, it's like... Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll agree to disagree on this. I, my position is that Brisbane have a home advantage at the Gabbo, not Metricon. My thing is, it's like, either way, they've had... An, like either way, You either got to asterisk it the second Corona happens, or you can't just asterisk the season when it's convenient just because one team, due to unique, extreme circumstances... You can't, like... For no. me, you can't shit on them and, like, they're sh- not really premiers. Blah, blah, blah. Like, they're still premiers. But, like, when it comes down to, like, the debate of different premierships over the years, theirs can easily be diminished in, like, that yeah, debate. Yeah, as, as it should be, in my opinion. Yeah. The, in, th- in this situation, if Brisbane, say, play four home finals at the Gabba, which might not happen, if they play three finals at Metricon and every game is neutral and then the grand finals at the Gabba, I'm okay with that. I don't think they're neutral. Like at that point, it's not neutral. I like because the, their fans can still get to Metricon easily. Like they'll take that hour or so drive down to Gold Coast or whatever. Uh, I would still argue that they would way rather play with a ground to suited to their dimensions. I'd argue that's mm. just as big, especially when you're thinking you're not going to get a full crowd in there anyway. Yeah, but still, like, well, obviously they've got an advantage of their home ground, but like, it's one of those things. Like, there's that much going on. You can't just hang up on them specifically I think you can if they're getting an absurd advantage which they would be and it's preventable I don't think it is preventable though in the circumstances it, okay unless they may it's preventable in that you can make them play at Metricon how is that not preventable I still don't I still think if you're going to take the argument that they're in an advantage they've still got that advantage at Metricon not as big but okay well, we'll put it to the viewers do you think Brisbane are playing home games if they're playing at Metricon I wouldn't say they are they're still if more I was likely. Coast, would you rather play them at Metricon or the Gabba? Obviously, you'd rather play them at Metricon. Obviously, yeah. So there is a clear difference. Right, but there's still the fact that they're an hour away compared to like teams that are flown. Like, well, if you're no going to try and argue they've got an advantage, they had an advantage long before any of this shit happened. Yeah, of course they did. But you can diminish how far out of control that advantage gets. And or in this situation, every team is hubbing in Queensland. No one's travelling to it. But still, the like, teams living in hotels away from their families and shit compared to Brizzy, who probably yeah. allowed to go home after training as long as they don't leave the house. They probably Well, could. the argument I reject is that just because teams have a little advantage, them having a large advantage, it's all the same thing. Do you know what I mean? It's one of those things that's never going to be fair, though, Like especially this year. like you just got to sort of... Yeah, but that's not an argument to make it completely unfair. I'm not saying to make... I'm, my argument's more like... I'm not saying fair or unfair. It's never going to be fair. I'm just saying don't shit on Brisbane if they win a flag. That's what I'm. That's my whole thing. It's like you're making it go diminishing what they're achieving. Like they can't help the fact that they happen to be in the state where football is. They can't help this. They they're just doing what they have to do, and you can't like. It's not about pub- you can't like publicly shit on their flag. It's not about just publicly ca- shitting on it, but is it? Is expect, it like, you can you can shit on their flag if you're going to shit on it if Port win. You can shit on it if you're going to shit on it regardless because of Corona. You can't just shit on it because Brisbane happened to. Why? What if Brisbane have an advantage? Oh, what if fucking Richmond have an advantage when they barely leave Melbourne every fucking year and win really the flag? Think, do you really think this is the same thing as Richmond? Well, it's not the same advantage. fucking thing because it's a fucking pandemic. We're in a fucking unprecedented situation. There's not going to be a fucking regular scale. You've got to cop what you've got to cop. Wait, so your argument, because there's a pandemic, everything's out the door, we don't have to maintain fairness. That's what it sounds like, because I think that's ridiculous. Well, you do it within the parameters, but like, what fucking parameters you got to work with? Brisbane don't get to leave their state this year, so realistically, fucking... Yeah, so if they've already got a fairly good advantage without having to travel... Why would you not make take measures to try and prevent their ad- advantage getting too ridiculous? Well, obviously, take those. Like, I'm not saying don't take those measures. I'm, I, I'm purely saying like, because well, it sounds like when you like arguing this, it just feels like you're trying to diminish a hype, a, you, something. Like, like I'm having a go at Brisbane. Yeah, that's what. That's like well, why. Okay. Like, because they listen because they're doing everything they can. Like, you can't blame them for fucking. Let's you let's re- move. Let's use a removed example. Okay. Australia versus England in a cricket World Cup final. All right, mm. <clears throat> completely removed. Someone, an Australian fan, pays the umpires to rig it by twenty percent in Australia's favour. Okay, Australia win the World Cup, but that's infecting. Che- that's cheating, though. Brisbane are playing by the rules. Brisbane are doing everything they can. That's cheating. Yeah, but beyond- so is Australia. The cricket team hasn't done anything wrong. 
but they've got an unfair advantage. So you can't say don't shit on them because they haven't done anything wrong. If it's not fair, it's, it's not still, a legitimate premiership. Someone's cheated from though. You shit on the cheating from though. Like that's che- that's difference between cheating and within the c- com- competition rules that all eighteen teams are participating in. Yes, but that's a circumstance beyond the parameters of the competition. This is purely the parameters yeah, but it's of competition. Someone completely removed from from the cricket team. So what I'm saying is like just because Brisbane haven't done anything wrong, it doesn't make their premiership valid. Do- like, if there's extenuating circumstances. You either have to asterisk the whole season because of Corona or you don't, as far as I'm... Okay. All right. Well, we, we won't... Move. Yeah, I'm starting to get pissed off, to be yeah, honest. I think that's coming through. <laughs> but, um, look, put it, to the, put it to the people who watch the potty. What do you think about... Fuck Brisbane. Everyone else is the Premiers. That's a strawman argument. You're a straw man, you scrawny git. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to some Discord questions. 